Picture this. It's the fall of 2025. The sun sets behind the curved glass of Apple Park in Cupertino. The campus stands still. Almost too still. But behind those massive glass walls, something extraordinary is taking shape. Inside a dimly lit lab, a group of Apple engineers are running final thermal tests on a machine that could redefine what we call a computer. Marketing teams are rehearsing a keynote presentation so confidential, even Apple's top executives haven't seen the final version, and deep inside a locked vault, a single prototype hums quietly, powered by a new chip, codenamed Tigris. This isn't just another MacBook. This is the M5 MacBook Pro, a machine that doesn't just join the AI revolution, it's designed to lead it. The journey so far. From intel to intelligence, to understand what Apple is building now, we have to look back five years ago when Apple changed the game. In 2020, the world watched in disbelief as Apple broke away from Intel and introduced its first custom silicon, the M1 chip. It wasn't just faster, but redefined the relationship between hardware and software. Suddenly, laptops ran cooler, faster, and quieter than ever before. Then came the M2 a refinement of balance and power. The M3 introduced more efficient GPU cores and unified memory that rivaled desktop workstations. And then the M4, built for AI workloads, hinting at something much bigger on the horizon. Each chip wasn't just an evolution. It was Apple quietly preparing for something bold, something far beyond traditional computing. The M5 isn't about performance anymore. It's, a, it's about intelligence, the launch window, the calm before the storm. So, when's the big reveal? If Apple's timeline stays true, history gives us a pretty good clue. The M3 MacBook Pro launched in October 2023. The M4 iPad Pro landed in May 2024. Following that rhythm, all eyes are on October 2025 for the next major event. But here's where it gets interesting. Regulatory. Filings with the FCC already show new MacBook identifiers registered by Apple. And according to sources in Taiwan's supply chain, TSMC's second-generation 3 nanometer process, known as N3E, is now fully allocated to one client. You guessed it, Apple. However, there's a twist. Top analyst Ming-Chi Kuo believes the M5 MacBook Pro might be announced in October, but won't ship until early 2026, aligning perfectly with Mac OS 16, Apple's most AI-driven operating system yet. That timing isn't accidental. It's strategic. Apple wants hardware and software to launch as one ecosystem, where every chip cycle unlocks new AI possibilities. The heart of the beast, M5 Tigris chip. Let's talk about what's inside this machine, the heart of it all. The M5 Tigris chip, built on TSMC's refined 3 nanm N3 e-node, the M5 promises 15, 20% better power efficiency, up to 30% faster CPU performance, a next-generation GPU with hardware ray tracing support, but that's just the foundation. Early leaks suggest a 12-core CPU, 8 high-performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, paired with up to 40 GPU cores in the 16-inch model. And the neural engine? Brace yourself, it might cross 100 trillion operations per second. Tops. A number so high it moves this laptop into a new category, personal AI computing. This means tasks like real-time, 3D rendering, language translation with zero lag, auto-color grading and video compositing and Final Cut Pro, generative design in apps like Logic Pro or Blender all of it, processed on device with no cloud dependency. It's your private AI studio inside a laptop. And for the first time, Apple may introduce memory and package MIP technology, stacking unified memory directly with the chip. Rumors point to configurations up to 128 GB of unified RAM, blurring the line between a laptop and a supercomputer. Design evolution, subtle but significant. Now what about design? Apple is known for subtlety, and the M5 MacBook Pro won't be an exception. Expect a refined, sleeker build, thinner bezels, and a new space titanium finish inspired by the iPhone 15 Pro lineup. But what's inside the chassis is far more exciting. Apple is testing a hybrid cooling system, blending vapor chamber technology with ultra-low RPM fans, nearly silent. Even under heavy AI workloads, the result? A MacBook that remains cool, quiet, and incredibly efficient. 
Even when handling multi-model AI simulations or 8K video edits, you'll barely hear it. You'll just feel the performance. Display, the window to the future. The display might be Apple's next big leap, while many LED panels still dominate. Internal sources hint that Apple is testing tandem OLED panels, delivering twice the brightness in HDR, deeper contrast ratios, richer color accuracy for creative professionals. Even if OLED doesn't debut with the M5, Apple's R&D labs in Japan are already prototyping hybrid OLED displays for future MacBooks. So, even if it's not this year, it's coming. And for creators? That means editing films, color grading, or 3D modeling with unprecedented clarity and contrast. Mac OS 16, the AI operating system. Hardware is just the muscle. Software is the brain. And Mac OS 16 will be Apple's smartest operating system yet. We're talking system-wide generative AI tools, a context-aware Siri that understands your workflow, on-device summarization, translation, an intelligent app control, but that's not all. There's one feature insiders are calling IntelloFrame, an AI-powered Final Cut Pro feature that analyzes your editing patterns and automatically frames, color grades, and edits your footage in your personal style. And here's the big one. Apple may finally open limited access to on-device GPT-style AI models, meaning developers can run LLMs locally without sending your data to the cloud. Your MacBook won't just process tasks, it'll understand them. Pricing and competition, the battle for AI supremacy. Now let's talk about the part nobody likes, the price. Analysts predict 14-inch model, starting at $119.99. 16-inch model, fully loaded around $3999 expensive. Yes, worth it? Probably. Because here's the truth. Apple isn't just selling a laptop. It's selling an entire AI ecosystem, one that's private, integrated and optimized from silicon to software. Of course, competition is fierce. Qualcomm's Snapdragon X Elite Gen 2, AMD's AI-accelerated Ryzen chips, and Intel's upcoming Lunar Lake processors are all chasing the same dream. But none of them have what Apple has. Complete vertical integration. Apple controls the chip software, operating system, and user experience. And that's the ultimate advantage, the future of computing beyond the M5. So what does this all mean for the future of computing? The M5 MacBook Pro isn't just faster. It represents a shift in philosophy from performance-driven machines to intelligence-driven companions. A laptop that doesn't just follow your commands, but anticipates them one that learns your habits, adapts to your workflow, and grows with you. Imagine opening your MacBook, and it instantly prepares your workspace, your video project, your research tabs, your music, all before you even touch the keyboard. That's not sci-fi anymore. That's the world Apple is building, just like the M1 redefined performance. The M5 is set to define intelligence. Even if you don't buy one, the ripple effect will transform every future iPhone, iPad, and iMac for years to come. Outro, cinematic ending. So here we are. On the edge of Apple's most important leap since the M1, whether it drops in late 2025 or early 2026, one thing's for sure. The M5 MacBook Pro isn't just a product launch. It's the beginning of Apple's AI decade. The question isn't if you'll upgrade, it's when. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Apple's secret future, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Will you upgrade to the M5 MacBook Pro or wait for the M6 AI revolution? Stay tuned, because the future of laptops isn't just faster, it's smarter than ever.